Inspired by the curves of the Swan River below, the textural quality of the surrounding landscape, and with design cues derived from luxury yachts. This singular residence is etched into the cliff over Blackwall Reach, offering unparalleled views of the Swan River and beyond from every habitable room. Designed by architect John Leclerc Josephs, director of Superseed Architecture and built by Peter Capotzi of Capotzi Building, the residence is a symphony of architectural design, engineering, specification, and master builder craftsmanship. The project, a development project for sale, had no end-user client. Instead, it was conceived as a mechanism to communicate the expertise of the builder, Capotzi Building. By creating a singular original design on an extremely logistically complex residential site, which would in turn impress a future buyer. Capotzi Building, whose reputation is built on building for architects, approached John Josephs, director of Superseed Architecture, from which they had recently completed a successful residence in Floriot. Superseed Architecture's design approach, focused on reconsidering traditional design's ideals, instead approaching design with minimal preconceptions, was well suited to the site of which tradition housing models could simply not be built from a technical standpoint nor would differentiate the property and show the potential of the site and the skill of the design and build to a potential buyer. Original housing plans that followed traditional models, provided in the sale of the site, were immediately scrapped. Armed simply with a loose spatial brief based on property expectations of the area and a budget, John Josephs was given free reign over the schematic design. During the first client meeting, in which the design was presented to Capotzi Building, the resultant three-story design. A ship on the land, curves throughout and almost no standard right-angle geometry to be found, Capotzi were taken aback. However, after explanation of the architectural reasoning, the structural rational and most importantly, the result, something completely unlike anything else in the area. The conversation quickly became about the construction methodology and detailing, Capot C were immediately on board with the design, differentiating itself from traditional mansion typologies. The residence follows a clear vision, let the occupants experience the landscape from the moment they step foot into the site. To create this experience, the form of the residence is separated into two clear volumes in plan, joined by transparent sun halls, providing a clear vision right through the residence. The form of the two volumes have subtle curves and angles, clad in a teak, to meld them into the adjoining landscape. The attention is directed not to grand entranceways, stairs, porticos, and instead to the views to the river beyond. Internally the benefit of two volumes is clear, logistical and acoustic separation to maximize the functionality of the spaces, i.e. sleeping from cooking, as well as energy efficiency, lessen the total volume of conditioned space. But whilst separation has its benefits, the ability to utilize the doubled-sided balconies between the volumes, is where the beautiful of this configuration lies. Opening up the massive sliding doors in the sun halls blurs the boundaries between driveway, entrance, sun hall and balcony creating massive usable space where traditionally it would be permanently designated non-habitable or vehicular, and this follows a similar pattern on the floor beneath. What was once a balcony for 10 becomes an entertaining space for 100. 
The topography of the site, a 13 meters difference from top to bottom, including a 7 meters sheer drop and extremely difficult soil conditions, drove the project and called for a complete reconsideration of traditional residential typologies. The site required parking on the highest of the three levels, to minimize the potential impact of vehicular space, which is further minimized with a double car stacker in the garage and internal lift. In section, the project shifts from dominant entertaining spaces up top, moving down to more private bedroom spaces below, down again into guest suites and services areas. The plan differences between the levels of the project create a form that, when viewed from the west, are reminiscent of the geological layering of the limestone cliffs traveling downwards. Utilizing stairs, lift or external ramp, what is immediately apparent is how the residence is backed onto a sheer cut into the limestone cliff. Whilst this is spatially advantageous for certain rooms, as well as helping energy credentials by adding massive amounts of thermal mass. There was a consideration from the outset to ensure that the ground floor external spaces did not feel tight or pushed forward by the 